up your portal page is really simple, so let's just go through those quick steps now. Firstly, you want to go to the um, directory listing in settings, so go to settings and then directory and portal and manage your customer portal. And then this opens your portal directory page. The first section is general settings. So all you want to do on here is enable customer portal features, choose a URL handle and then publish the business listings. Obviously be aware that anything that you're publishing on there, you've got to accept full responsibility for. So um, make sure that all of your images aren't in breach of copyright and things like that and um, act quickly if you want to get a really good URL handle to go on the URL squeege.ee slash portal slash in your business name, um, especially if your business name isn't unique across the country or indeed the globe so that you get the best one for you. The next section is where you've actually got the information that you're publishing on your page. So to start with, you've got your logo um, and you can add this directly from your squeegee account or you can update it. Um, my advice would be to publish the business listing with your existing logo, see what it looks like and perhaps do a couple of tweaks from there. Because it's a dark background, what I had to do was just lighten um, my logo image a little bit just to make it really pop on the page. Um, and then you want to add um, a banner image across the top. Uh, the dimensions for these, which I'll put in the written information as well, um, should be 1246 by 168 pixels so it's really um, thin at the top and if possible what you want to do is make sure that at least on the left hand side of the banner image it's quite dark so that the white writing on the page really stands out because that's your business name that goes on there. Um, after that it's really quite simple so you've got your business display name um, and your owner display name and then you've got your number, email, address, and um, social media pages. And you can just decide whether to show or hide um, the number, email, and address. And only the social media pages that you actually put a URL in will come up on the page. Once you've completed this section, you've got the um, business summary, which is just information about your business. So here you can put a bit of background information, whether you're a family run business, how long you've been trading, what customers can expect from you, that sort of information. And my advice would be to um, go as close to the 500 character limit as you can, just so that it looks nice and full on that page. Um, and lastly, you've got the advertised services. And my advice would be for this one, to not do too many. So um, perhaps pick out your main three, perhaps up to five services that you want to advertise on there rather than a full list of 20 slightly different services. Um, and you can do this just by selecting services that are already in your list in Squeegee, or of course, if you want to add any different ones, just use the plus button and type in ones from there. And that's it. As soon as you've done all of this, you want to save and publish and publish your business listing.